Hi, everybody. I just wanted to give you a little bit more instructions on how to complete the homework assignment because I saw that some of you had questions. Remember, you can always come to my office hours. I, I very rarely have people actually coming. Um, I, last Friday, I sat there for a couple hours and nobody came to visit me. So if you ever have questions, you're more than welcome to, to come. And um, But let's also talk about the homework altogether. I figure if one person is having trouble, maybe somebody else is as well. So the homework is on building a theoretical model, creating a theoretical model. And you can use the instructions that I have there for you in Canvas. And they're located in Canvas, uh, right in the homework. If, if you go to the, I believe it's, look at the modules. It's in the modules, so we are down in module seven. Oh, blah. Module seven, create a theoretical model homework. And by the way, uh, I've been combining the PowerPoints with the PowerPoint assignment. So the videos, the PowerPoints, and the assignment are all now in one. So you, you, you can see when you're turning in that assignment, uh, they're, they're all together. So you would watch the video. You can uh, access the PowerPoint right here, and then you just upload it right at the same place, right, right at the top with that big big blue button that says submit. And then here's that next homework assignment. There's a video reminding you of the scientific method and then giving you the um, assignment itself. You just fill in that second page, that, that second page in the homework assignment. Um, so the first page is instructions, the second page you fill in. And the topic that you're going to pick is one of the topics that we've covered or will cover in the, um, human relations class. And um, we've covered these theories at, uh, and, and you can write a theory, your theory based around one of the supported assertions that we've learned in the class, or you can theorize um, something else that you suspect might be true about these different theories. So for example, I gave, um, I took one of the one of the main topics that we cover, which is job performance. And I theorized so something in here that, uh, we didn't talk about this actually being true, um, but to me it made sense. But we do find once you research this uh, a little more that uh, it isn't always true. But at any rate, so it doesn't have to be a supported theory. It just has to be a theory. And so uh, you do want to keep the, um, you, you know, use the format for <clears throat> writing your theoretical model, put the outcome in the circle at the end, put the variables um, that are related to the outcome or that you're theorizing are related in the rectangles and then put the relationship by um, with an arrow, indicate the relationship with an arrow and you read that arrow as this leads to, right? And um, these are direct correlations, these are indirect correlations and you wanna have at least one indirect correlation and then you wanna have a minimum of two direct correlations and so the way that you just, as, as we read all theories, we'll read the sample theory that I wrote together. Um, I theorize that praise, um, well, I'll read what I wrote here because you're going to be doing your theoretical model and then you're also gonna be putting the text in there. So I theorize that, um, and I named it the theory of social recognition. Right, you name it, whatever makes sense to you. But my theory of social recognition is that if we give more praise to the supervisors in our company, that will lead to um, the supervisors giving more praise to the employees. So more praise from the supervisors, which in turn will lead to an increase in job performance <clears throat> on the part of the employees. I mean, that makes sense. Um, I also theorize that if we prioritize awards in our company, this will lead to the supervisors giving more awards in the company, which will lead to an increase in job performance. Right? Uh, so make sure that when you are writing your theoretical model, that you're choosing one of the topics from the class, that you are at least having one of the correlations that you're showing with an indirect relationship. So this would lead to this, which then leads to this, right? And uh, make sure that you include the model and then a description so that I can, I can, um, well, which is what a theory is, right? Um, it has words and pictures. Um, but I was going to say here, make sure that you're writing this correctly. So you would write that, that this variable would lead to this variable, which in turn will lead to this outcome, right? 
Okay, that's all. That's all you have to do for your homework. You can just turn in that second page and um, I hope that uh, this little video is helpful. I will um, talk, to, talk to you all very soon. And you have a midterm exam coming up. Just so you know, uh, make sure that you, that you uh, prepare for that midterm exam and um, the instructions will be there shortly. So, all right, take care. Thanks.